Hello, welcome to the lovely minute. And now I'm climbing along the upper Thumsen Road. I'll be meeting um, a few of the guys I'll be cycling with. So I'll be cycling with uh, that's a guy JD and Sam and Melvin. So it's by pair. So we're actually going to do the rifle range today. And this is uh, the Upper Thompson Road. It's a bit of a up and down. Uh, yeah, that's Melvin, uh, fellow Bista or Cebuano. I don't know if he's from Cebu or somewhere in the Sinus. So that's JD and Sam. We're actually um, nearing the Spring Leaf MRT. It's a new MRT, by the way. And on the right side of the screen, you can actually see a famous Prata house there. It's a Roti Prata. And this one is uh, going to the crematorium Colombarum. It's a pretty scary place if you pass through around 5 a.m. or 4.30. Mm, I don't dare. I never dare uh, passing that area all by myself. So if not, I usually use the Simbaon Hills and just wait for anyone. But this time it's 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 a pretty nice day. It rained earlier, and uh, we can sense that the sun is coming out. So this is the climb. Also, um, we're gonna cross over the BKE, and uh, we're actually heading towards the Shellman Dying. And yep. So see, this is a bit eerie here. Just imagine if you pass here around 5 a.m. or 4.30 a.m. all by yourself, nothing but a blinking light in front of you, and your um, red blinking uh, tail light. If you pass this area, you know, you can you can share in the comment what's your experience there. I have some goosebumps, but you know, sometimes I just don't mind it. I just, you know, um, push the pedal anyway. So that's uh, Melvin behind me, and now we're turning into four. So you get to see um, Melvin, uh, JD, and Sam behind. So this is going to the Mandai Shell. So this is the Mandai uh, Road. So that's the camp uh, on the left side of the screen. This is actually going downhill. And uh, yep, you get to see that there's a lot of uh, guys and, and people cycling. As I've mentioned earlier, Singapore is, or probably in the previous uh, video, that Singapore is actually a cycling haven. I mean, like, uh, I never thought back then that, you know, um, a lot of people in Singapore are into cycling. So, yep, sun is starting to show up. And we're just... This is just a fine Saturday morning, just cruising along, trying to de-stress, you know, it's a busy work week, so we call ourselves the Weekend Warriors. So we, we passed um, Shell Mandai, I think I wasn't able to record it, and instead of turning right from Shell Mandai, you turn left, because you, we will be headed towards rifle range, so we passed those bunch of cyclists, and just four of us so just cruising along no speed nothing much it's just enjoying the day you know um, trying to um, get a different perspective um, some of us uh, haven't seen our kids for, for quite a while you know due to this pandemic and just to keep our sanity you just have to find a sport I mean like I'm into cycling some of the guys are into running kayaking or water sports or dragon boat or um, since there's no um, basketball and softball and so a lot of people really picked up cycling road cycling and mountain biking for that matter so this is also another climb it's actually a bridge um, leading towards the rifle range so look at the sun it's started to show up the scenery is, is so breathtaking you know that's why I decided to take a, a, a video of this one because I can say wow just imagine it's a different perspective from the usual um, concrete jungle here in Singapore but if you really start to explore you know you don't really need to go out but you just have to really see the places and you get to see on the on the left side of the screen that you're you can see someone running jogging and all those things so 
Yep. Another bunch of cyclists climbing a rifle range. So we're... Some of them are actually doing loops. Um, some of them do three, four loops. And for us, we're just gonna visit the rifle range and head off somewhere else. So it's a bit of a climb. It's, it's a good uh, training ground for those guys who are into uh, climbing. You wanna put some... Um, you wanna put some hills or some incline. Uh, because Singapore is pretty flat, so see, just imagine that one. If you don't go out there, you'll never know that Singapore has this kind of place. Wow. So for those guys who are just inside your home, just inside your condo, or inside your your HDB, you know, get out. Just just enjoy and see what Singapore has to offer. There's still a lot of places we have to 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 visit. And the funny thing about it is that when I started here, probably five years or four years ago, I just thought that it's just all about concrete jungle. So this is the end of rifle range. You see Sam earlier, that's Melvin, and that's JD. That's the end of it. So now we're done with the rifle range. We're actually heading toward Adam, Adam Road Food Center. We're going to take a break and um, have our famous sugar cane. Actually, the guys introduced me that sugar cane probably four months or five months back and since then you know you've been craving for it if especially we do this route that's our that's our pit stop so yep you get to see the sun earlier coming out making its way felt and those juggers and runners and walkers they're just basically enjoying the day as well so yep once again, for those guys who are just inside their houses, inside their condos and HDBs, get out, you know, enjoy life, try to see things in a different perspective, try to enjoy the sunlight, you know, feel the heat, feel the breeze, be in the moment. And just like we're doing now, we're actually enjoying each other's company. And we're heading again to Adam Road Food Center we're gonna take our sugar cane. Probably gonna cost us three dollars and fifty. So that's the lovely minute. Thank you guys. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button so that you get to be updated for all the uploads. And that's it. That's a lovely minute. See ya. Ciao.